You mentioned also uh, in French about uh, South Africa and Denmark and their experience with BA2. Um, given that that's where Omicron started, and we hear often about um, how it was unprecedented and a lot of people didn't see this coming, this, this wave coming, what are your concerns, if you have any, about BA2 and how do you expect that to unfold here in Quebec? I mean, as for other countries that we're following, in the, namely uh, European countries and also South Africa, uh, the, the, the growing of the BA2 is, is obvious. So, and we do expect that progressively inside our own situation, and as in the rest of Canada, the BA2 will find its way. And it's, it's, it's the case right now. Because it's more contagious, the probability that the next case would be at BA2 is higher than for the BA1. So, and this is spreading like that. So, uh, and we're not surprised with that. We, we could not prevent it. it it's, it's now in Quebec, in, as in Canada and North America. So it's normal. The impact of it will be to increase the risk of contagiosity. So this is why we have to be careful with the way we are going to um, to cope with that on personal basis, just to make sure that it's uh, it's really well understood. In fact, if we are well protected with with uh, the uh, with the vaccine, or if we had had the the Omicron disease recently, the risk of being reinfected is very 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 low. And mostly the risk of being infected and develop a, 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 an important disease that will lead us to the hospital and even get, uh, get worse than that uh, is really lowered when you are fully vaccinated. So this is why it's still relevant for everyone and in particular for persons that are uh, at risk to, uh, to get vaccinated. And uh, of course, for it's not guaranteed that the vaccines will protect for all of them, but the the, the, the efficacy uh, of the vaccine is uh, incredibly high, so we have to benefit of it.